And one thing that I, that I see with McDojo life is, uh, I don't know, man, I'd like to think of your platform being sort of like the mat for these martial arts. And they're going to go in front of this, you know, this fire and, and see if they come out or not. And most of them are coming out, it looks like. But, but yeah, uh, some do. Some do. I will have to say, like, there have been some things that I have posted where, like, it might be split, which is very interesting. Like, some of the things that the, the community is split on always shock me. I'm, I'm fascinated by it, honestly. Like, there will be people, like, for instance, who do dojo storming. And I am 100% against dojo You're storming. You're against that. I saw that. You don't like the fact people go in there and just start. Now, when you say dojo storming, you're talking about, like, people um, saying, you're fake and we're, we want to fight you right now, that type of thing? Well, yeah, the physical side of it. I don't think there's anything wrong with open discourse. I don't think there ever is anything wrong with that as long as it's respectful. Okay. Right? Somebody walks into your dojo and they're respectful. Right. And they say, hey, you know, we would like to spar with you. And you say no. And then you ask them to leave. All right. Well, you, you have the right to do that. If you say no and then they cause a ruckus for the next 45 minutes. Well, that just makes them an asshole. Right. <laughs> just think about it. Like, that's hey, just, that, you know, what that reminds me of, Rob. Uh, I just watched the episode where uh, you, you did a, a breakdown of um, it was a Krav Maga studio and the, and their lady that worked there, she was like doing a, you know, a play by play. And yeah. you, do you remember that one? Yeah. Cause yeah. that was long. It was like, I posted it on YouTube. I think it's like 30 minutes total or something like that. It's very long, but I posted her entire breakdown of what she did because when the original video came out, it was broken down by one of the employees from her perspective. And there, in my opinion, there were a lot of things that were not correct about that situation, the way she described them, um, things that they could have done better, all that stuff, right? And on, on the thing, I try to be middle ground, you know, like these are some of the things they did well, these are some things that they could have done better. But yeah, man, like that particular situation to me could have been handled so much better. Did the guy, Even, oh, sorry, did the guy that, uh, that was going in there and being crazy and stuff uh, that they ended up accosting him, was, do you think he was mentally, like something was going on mentally with him? Well, yeah. So I had already spoken with the owners of the dojo. They were actually the people who sent me that video. Um, the owners sent that to me, which is really interesting. But I was like, okay, well, I guess if you want people to see this. Okay. And then I put it out there. I'm like, usually people who I post, they don't want to be named. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. But I'm like, yeah, here's a video. And then afterwards, I think they regretted it because I was like, hey, I'd like to do an interview with you. And then when we came back to the table like a week later to do it, they were like, ah, we don't think we want any more of this. They don't want that smoke. They don't want that smoke. I'm like, I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, they thought, you know, I'm not here to like cater to your feelings when it comes to this stuff, because it's a very serious situation in which a gentleman got assaulted. Yes. No matter how it went, that needs to be brought up. Did that have to go that way? And if I sugarcoat that shit then that doesn't make me honest. <laughs>